This is a story of how Welsh Wales came to town. It all began in... Is that you, Gwilym? Listen, Mr. Davis, the manager, wants to see Tom and Die, number nine. Yes, they had to go up at once. He's got some wonderful news for them. Right up. I'll tell them. Yanto! Hello! Pass down for Tom and Die, number nine, to see the big boss. Something to tell them. Right up. Hamlin! Tom and Die, number nine, to see the boss right away. Got a thing or two to say to them? Come on, old girl. Me? I done nothing. What you been up to, Die? Me? I haven't done nothing, man. Tom and Die, number nine, won the London Echo Prize for filling more coal in a month than any other pair of pit butties in any field anywhere. What do they catch, Mr. Davis? Glory, man. Glory. Oh. And 200 pounds in cash. <laughs> and on top of that, the best seats in the stand for the international rugby football match between Wales and England at Twickenham. Here's your leaks, boys. That's right, stick it on, man. There you are. Here's your ticket, boys. Change of party general. Mr. Thomas and Mr. David Jones from Love a Duck. Would Mr. Thomas and Mr. David Jones from Wales please call at the station master's office on platform one? Have a plan. Sit, pause. We'll go there first, see it proper. Aye. And then the echo. 200 pounds, there's money for you. We might even have some over at the end of the day. <laughs> Talking of money, did you count your change? Oh, don't be so tough, but they wouldn't cheat you in a place like this. Uh -huh. This your first visit to London? I uh, first visit to England. You Christ, boy! Don't you remember me? Tomb number nine? Tomb? Aye. Tomb baritone? That's right, we won the national together. Me singing to your half, remember? In St. George's. And back there, D.H. Evans and John Lewis. We Welsh have bought up the town. I checked the photograph of that floozy. She's a pro, all right. A con woman. Pro and con. A professional confidence trickster. She's... <laughs> You are, Mr. Jones. Take your pick. You know, I always say that a good woman may be above rubies, but she's not above diamonds. <laughs> Couldn't we go somewhere quiet, like just you and me on our own sim scene? Die! Die, let me explain! It's a bit late for that, isn't it? Have you a nice, quiet cell where I could write my story in peace? Oh. 